Good morning, good evening, good day, everybody. My name is Mortis, and welcome to the Swiss Olympics. I mean, I'm new to the Dark Descent. This, oh my god, I just can't believe we've actually managed to get through 30 episodes of this. This is absolutely insane. If you've been watching all the way through the series, I'm just checking my face cam's working because it sometimes decides to shut off, um, then you will know that this is the shirt I wore in the very first episode of Amnesia, and I've decided since this series has been such a journey for both me and the channel as a whole, um, I'm going to wear the same shirt for the ending episode. This probably won't be the ending episode, but I'm guessing the next one will be, so... Why do I hear footsteps? God, that's creepy. Come on, man. Just go away. Hello? Oh. Hello, sir. Where the fuck am I? Why am I doing this? Whoa. Oh, God. What the shit is this? Get up. Get up. Get up, Daniel. Daniel, get up. Dan, get up. A little bit of nostalgia there. I remember at the very start, that was absolutely terrifying. Oh my god. Well, let's get into the game. Now, last time, I think it ended with me sort of just being scared to pieces by that. In fact, who says scared to pieces anymore? I was scared shitless by this thing. I came up, it, it opened. Oh god. Yeah, let's, let's stab our hand on the spikes. The forger stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and began to leak. Well, that's awesome. So, they just put you inside here. I mean, look at this for a high spice. Ow! You see, that is why you don't go in there. Because you get spiked to fuck. Well, this is the next orb piece. Ow, did I lose a lot of health there? A few cuts and bruises, it's fine. So, we've got three so far. Two loud nandum. A lot of oil. 59 tinder boxes. My god. We have blown that challenge out of the water. Right, so, I'm going to set a new challenge, and that's going to be 70. And now Ross is talking to me on thing. I've told him a million times, don't message me when I'm playing Amnesia. Because I will comment very angrily. Because this stuff scares me. Oh, God. Ross, Ross, Ross. What a guy. Okay. That's all we're going to get from here, I think. Let's head back uh, to where we were. So, we got a poison gland. What else did we need for the recipe? Let's have a look. Notes. Uh, machine. Ch a gripper channels where? Blah, 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 blah. To feed a tonic made from paralyzer, vitae, and tamter. Okay. There we go. We've got the paralyzer. Uh, vitae. Okay, so we need to find a dead body that we can get some adrenaline from. And Tamter. Um, wait. Oh, yeah, we need to get Tamter from... Uh, what's his name? From Francis. So, I don't know how we're going to do that. Probably with this piece of meat we're just carrying around. Uh, okay, let's... Yeah, let's continue. My nose is slightly itchy. Okay... Now, I have no idea where we are in the actual map, because it's so big. This place is absolutely massive, and I'm hearing shit. Hello? 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 Don't go at me! I'm warning you! A rock. How nice. Oh, hello. Janice. Janice. Where are you? Janice. 
Bats, shut up. I'm trying to play Amnesia here. Janice. Where is she? Janice. Anything here? Oh my god, it's another one. We've hit 60. So I'm going to set a new challenge of 70 here. 70 tinder boxes to finish it. We may... Shut up! Shut up! We may actually have to set another challenge by the end. But my god, if we could reach the end of this game on 70 tinder boxes, that's gonna be a record. Unless someone has actually gone out from like the very start. With the challenge like that. Right, we've cre- Oh. We've collected how many pieces? Three. So where are the other three? Wait, there was another door, wasn't there? If we go back down the other side, I'm guessing we're going to find the two other ingredients. And... The three other orb pieces. Mr. Hammer! Damn it, where are you? He's probably off exploring again. Damn it. Damn it, Mr. Hammer, where are you? Hello? Janice. Janice. Are you singing? That's so beautiful. Mm, Mr. Hammer's probably hiding somewhere. He is hiding. Or he's off fighting Janice. That, that's more probable. Let's just say he's doing that. So go back to the nave. That sounds like part of a nose. Isn't that part of a nose? Like your navel cavity. Oh no, it's a... Uh, that's actually something to do with pregnancy, isn't it? You get, like, post-navel depression. Or is it post-nasal depression? Oh, post-navel depression was actually something from... Um... Oh, uh, what was it again? Oh, uh, what what's it called? Oh, Only Fools and Horses. Who used to watch that? Who used to watch Only Fools and Horses? Right, we've already been in there, haven't we? Yeah, we have. Right. That was such a great program. I loved that program. And, um... Albert was suffering from post-naval depression. Oh my god. Brilliant. Brilliant stuff. I love that series. Oh. What a program. What a program. What were, what were you guys' favourite programmes from, like, past, past times? Hello. Incredible. You found Vile's recipe. Yes. Then there might still be a chance. Listen carefully. Alexander is working on opening a gate. A door to another world. It's where he wants to go. Awesome. If you could put your anger aside, let him open the portal before you take your revenge. Let me pass the dead dead. Oh. Please, find the ingredients and pass the tonic via the sky. Okay. Do so before you assemble the all. The barrier keeping you from the inner sanctum will only be breached for a short time. Unless everything is taken care of before mending the all, you won't be able to save it. So, I'm going to be given a choice here. Either I just go and kill Alexander straight away, or I can choose to save him. I guess I could actually choose to save Alexander as well. By letting him live and just going straight to Alexander. Oh my god, this, this shit's getting complicated. A grip of the dying man wants a specific tonic made to save him. Okay, so we got one out of the three pieces we Looks need. Like you cleaned out the choir. Head for the transit and find the rest of the old pieces. Oh, okay, so that's saying that we did get them all. That, that's cool. Oh my god, I keep pressing escape instead of tab. Uh, mementos. The remaining ore pieces can be found in the transept. Awesome. Uh... Okay, so this is the transept. It's pretty creepy. Oh, wow. Right, I'm gonna turn my light off. What is this shit? Hello? Who's down there? Francis? Are you down there? Hey, Francis! How's it going, man? Oh, I missed you! Wait, can I... Oh, I think I know what to do. If I attach that to that and then lower it down. Oh, that looks nice, doesn't it, Francis? Just, uh, I'm giving you a quick nom nom. 
Yeah, I know it's he's coming. Don't worry. Wait, how do I uh there we go. I can't actually see. There we go. On Francis. No no on that. Francis, you're enjoying yourself down there. Ah, he loved that. Get him up. Back up. Back up. Ah, there we go. That's what we need. Good bit of saliva. If I could just reach it. I don't want to fall in. Picked up remains. The bone is covered in mucus. That's what we want. A good bit of... A good bit of Francis' saliva. Good job, Francis. This may be the last time I see you in this series. So, um, on behalf of the fans, I'd like to say goodbye. You've been an incredible sport. Just well done. Good job. Oh, Francis is such a nice guy. Hello. Janice, on the other hand, is a bitch. And we still need to face her. Okay, here we go, into the transept. I'm not being followed, am I? No, I'm not. That's good. Into the transept, here we go. Oh, wait, I forgot to see what time I started recording. Oh, shit. I'll just, um... You know, I'll get the rest of the orbs, maybe? Oh, God! Well, this looks fun. Wait a sec, I know that spiral staircase. That's the one that's... Whoa. Oh, there's a light up there. Okay. That's the one that's, um, the sort of screenshot on Steam. How much more, Baron? How much more am I supposed to withstand? Kill me, already. Kill me! This one. Prepare him. Ah, well, that's nice. Right. Where's this bastard going to be hidden? Okay. Oh, it suddenly got a lot brighter in here, I think. But yeah. So, I'm guessing this is... Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I tend to not finish sentences. It's a slight problem I have when I do videos like this. Oh, hey! Hey! Don't... No! Hello! Hello! You're doing very well in there. I can see your AI is very, very good. Good job. Ah, here we go. A torture room. I'm not looking forward to this. Oh god, it's not, is it? Oh, it is. It's a stretching machine. Oh fuck. Tender box. There we go. And yeah, it's a stretching machine. Wow. The things they put in this game. Fucking hell. I was one of those people who always used to watch. Oh shit. Hello? Oh. Ah, oh, there we go. There's your. But I always used to watch those documentaries. Hey, Mr. Bucket. About, um, like, medieval torture machines and shit. I loved those documentaries. They were great. And so I know what all of the shit does. I'd be a lot happier if I didn't. At this point. So what am I doing? Oh, God. I might it. Oh, no. No. The kidnapper sat on her knees with her hands tied behind her back. She felt her hands being lifted and her body followed. Her shoulders gave way, gave way to the weight of her own body and cracked loudly. The suspended woman cried hysterically as the men contemplated their next step. Oh God, I hate, I hate reading about these things. Oh, it's fucking disgusting. Because I, I know what all these things are. Oh God, right, broom, broom, you can go in a bucket. Wait, maybe we could attempt the thing we did in episode one. Put it on top of the cupboard. Come on! You're a broom, you're supposed to fly! So this episode's all about nostalgia. Going back to the things we did at the very start. Wearing the same shirt. Putting brooms on top of cupboards. Yeah! Nailed it! Okay, I can leave now. I am happy. It's dark. Thank you. Oh my god. The nostalgia in this game. But the fact we've been playing it for that long that we can actually have nostalgia, that is just incredible. Okay, let's try and get the rest of the pieces before we end the episode so we can be sure 
that the next episode will be the last. Oh my god, right. I'm just gonna run around the side, because why not? YOLO. YOLO! Okay, two more orb pieces to get. Crouch. Uh, I'll leave that door open. It's dark. The cradle is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. Oh, you're a bitch. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? Because you're a bitch. That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. Oh, God. I really can't see shit. There we go. Right. Oh, no. No, it's not. Oh, God. Why did they have to put this one in? Oh, God. It's not the pyramid. Why the pyramid? Oh, God. The arsonist kept crying as he was slowly lowered on and off the impaler. It didn't take much to break him. They had meant for him to die, but the torture was working beyond their expectations. It wasn't the method. It was the arsonist. He was different from the others. They could make him forget again. Oh, God. Oh. Why? Why the impaled pyramid thing? Ah, oh, don't hide from me. There we go. There's the orb. Oh, these things. I can't imagine what they're going to do for the other ones. Turn the box. Bitch, Mr. Chair! No! I'm going to put you on the impaler. Wait. Damn. Shit. But, you're a bitch, Mr. Chair. You really are. Wait. Right. Thinking he's God and everything. Ah. Right. We're close now. Just one more orb piece. I know this episode is going to be a bit longer, but we're coming to the end of a very long series, and I really want to get this series done. Wait a second. That guy wasn't in there before. He wasn't. I don't remember him being there. Wait, his leg is glowing. Why is his leg glowing? Is his leg glowing? No, it just looked like it. Wait, maybe we can get some of that stuff from him. Hey, bitch! How's it going? Awesome. Uh, right. We've got one more room to get this um, final ingredient. And then, I assume, we're going to open up that laboratory and use that to assemble the pieces. Oh, God. Sawing. Whoa. Why sawing? God. There was always going to be one that involved tender box sawing, wasn't there? And there is the final orb piece. Oh God! Right here we go. The rapist hanged upside down. His tears solid. Soiled with blood flowing from his belly, the sword between his legs had lodged itself in the hip and wouldn't move any further. The men stepped back and waited for the victim to drain. Oh, for fuck's sake. This is just disgusting. Oh. Wait, is that... Oh, no, I thought it was Mr. Hammer for a second. No, it's a saw. Oh, a grate. Grate covers a drainage pipe. Oh! Oh, I know what I need to do. Do I... What can I use, though? Can I use a glass jar? Hatch must be open first. Oh, there we go. And here we are. Yes. We've got our final ingredient. Uh, we've got... Have we got rope? No, we don't have rope. Mementos. Find something to help lower the glass giant in the transept torture room. 
Do we have? Wait. Hmm. Sanity is absolutely fucked. Right. Right, let's just have that up all the time then. Wait. We can't use a saw, can we? No. Didn't think so. Uh, let's just take this. Come on, pick pick the goddamn thing up. Did that? I think that helped my sanity actually. Crystal clear. Oh, nice. Well, that was awesome. I'm glad that happened. Uh, however, we st still need something to help lower it because apparently Daniel's arm isn't long enough. What can we use? What can we use? Because it won't let me pick up any of this rope. You sure we don't have anything? Bucket of tar. Oh, better use up all our oil. I don't think we have anything that we can use. Do we really need to go back and find some rope? That's bloody annoying, isn't it? Let's just check. Nothing up here. Maybe we can use that rope. No, we can't use that rope. Oh, great. Oh, that, that's that's not nice. Right. Oh, God. Well, we have got to go and find a piece of string somewhere. So, I'm going to end that episode here. Thank you for watching. I'll be really proud of you if you watch all the way through. I think that episode was about 25 minutes-ish. I don't know. It's a lot longer than normal. But anyway, um, yeah, last episode will be the last episode. I'm going to play it through to the end. Uh, I will be wearing this shirt because hashtag nostalgia. But just thank you to everyone who's been watching this series. Um, it hasn't really been a proper series. It's been more a series about finding out who I am and who we are as a channel. We've grown so much since we first started this series, both mentally and in actual subscribers and views and just professionalism. It's been an incredible journey to share with you guys. So I hope you're looking forward to the last episode. And as always, I'll see you bros next time. Dada. -da.